Hi, this is Margot. This is Sunday evening, December the 27th, 2020. I hope everyone is doing well and made it through this week. Um, it's been quite a stressful week for many people. And um, thank you for joining me here. This is my weekly YouTube show. I'm going to cut it short tonight because I'm not feeling that great. <clears throat> And it's kind of hard for me to speak. My voice is is um, hoarse. It's constricted. I'm not sure why. So um, we're going to focus on methane for Noah and for Cam's. And then we're going to go over a couple of other things. And that's it. So we're going to start with the Noah methane data. For yesterday, the 26th, this is for the 477-469 millibar reading. We have the MetOp1 satellite in the morning. The mean or average was 1,890 parts per billion, and the high reading was 2,476. In the afternoon, the mean was 1,890. The high reading was 2403. On the MetOp2 satellite in the morning, the mean was 1872. The high reading was 2330. And in the afternoon, the mean was 1870. And the high reading was 2337. So here's the spreadsheet that we're working off of <clears throat> and the chart. And um, here's the data for the 26th. <clears throat> Here are the means added up and divided by 4. And we come up with 1880.50 parts per billion for the 26th. So that's a sharp decrease this week of 7.25 parts per billion and uh, last last Sunday on my show it was at 1887.75 so this line right here is how much it's dropped in this last week 7.25 parts per billion and we haven't seen that big of a drop I don't know if I've ever seen that big of a drop in one week. I know I've seen five, like five in a week. Um, but this is the time of year that it should be going down. Um, <clears throat> now last year uh, it bottomed out on December the 28th right down here. And <clears throat> <clears throat> Let's go back up. On December the 28th of 2019, so it's just about a year ago, it was 1861.75. Now see, it had gone down 3.25 that week, 2.5 the week before, um, none the week before that and 5.75 the week before that now here the week of November the 19th last year it went down 7.5 so we haven't had a sharp decrease um, it's been going down slightly starting in November but we haven't had a big decrease like that until this week and um, and then last year it started going back up and I was just tracking it on the weekly basis last year this time last year and then in February it started really hopping up and so earlier this year I decided to start tracking it daily <clears throat> so
so um, this time last year oh, I need to change this <coughs> this should be the 26th So the change from the 28th, I kind of got my numbers backward here, from the 28th of last year to this year, we're 18.75 parts per billion higher. So even with our decrease, see, we're still 18.75 higher. And um, that's the increase for the year, or, you know, in a whole year. And um, <clears throat> so we'll see what happens this week, if it keeps going down, or if it levels out, or what's going on. Now here is where I'm tracking it daily. And I do put the data up daily for my members on Subscribestar. And if you'd like to join us over there, we'd love to have you. The link is in the description box below. So, here's what happened this week. Here it was last Saturday, the 19th, the 1887.75. And then on Sunday, it went up 1.5. On Monday, there was no change. On Tuesday, it started going down. It went down 2.25. Wednesday, it went down 1.25. Thursday, it went down 3.5. Friday, it went down 1.5. And Saturday, it went down 0.25. So it was just a tiny decrease from Friday to Saturday. So overall this week we have a decrease of 7.25 parts per billion this week. Now we'll run the CAMS data here. This is Copernicus Atmosphere Monitoring Services they're out of the EU. I have Saturday the 26th loaded. Um, let's get the Arctic view. And surface level. There's our color ledger. So we'll go ahead and run this. So the data is for Saturday and the forecast runs Sunday through Wednesday. Now even with that sharp decrease, we're still seeing a lot of greens. We're seeing a little streak of blue coming out across the Arctic and here it's blue over Greenland and more blue over Alaska. Um, this is showing uh, a decrease in methane when you're starting to see more blues um, in between the greens. We're still seeing lots of greens as the background color. We've got this high, high reading here still in Russia. And here in Western Russia it's still quite high. Now it had been coming up here by the Kumsalomits Island all year, but it's it's decreased to the point where we're not really seeing it th that much right there. Instead, we're seeing it pop up just to the south of there in the North Kara Sea somewhat. We're still seeing a high release here on the north coast of Alaska near Koktovik. But you can see these waves of green still moving out across the Arctic and it's coming up through the sea ice. 
and I'm not really going to cover sea ice tonight um, it's about the same and and we're still tied we're still tied with um, with 2012 as to extent so but it's still quite thin Now we'll look at the, uh-oh, <coughs> sorry about that. Now we'll go to the North Pole view. <coughs> we can see it's still filling up in India and really high here in the Bengal Bay. Now let's look at it streaming out from China uh, this in the forecast period watch it watch the wave move out here look at this dark wave just massive release there in um, in the forecast period and we saw some really a, a really high reading down here in southern Asia that just kind of covered everything up earlier this week. Now I don't know what's causing that massive wave, the dark. Now watch, here it comes. I paused it. This is on for Wednesday. Look at it just releasing all the way out. Um, through the ocean there. You rarely, rarely see, see a massive wave like that just billowing up. It looks like Europe is going down a little bit still high in Spain, high in England. <coughs> um, then here in North America, it's still high from Texas over to the east. And we see we still have waves of green and light green moving out. Still high all the way through California. Um, also throughout Mexico in the usual areas. So even with a, an overall decrease of methane, we're still seeing quite high readings, uh, mainly on land, in in those populated areas that you know where their civilizations. And as Dr. Guy McPherson says, civilization is a heat engine, and where you have mass populations, you're going to have a lot of a lot of methane coming up just from from the <clears throat> the sheer numbers of the people, and um, it's from all different different sources, but especially where it's densely populated. We're still seeing this white area pop up, see, in the forecast period. This is near Beijing and China. So let's watch China with this wave moving out in the forecast period. Here it comes. Look at that. It goes all the way down. See that? Here it comes. That's that's insane. So massive release there on Wednesday. Now we're seeing 
this purplish color over more of the southern hemisphere which is the next color down is 1780 parts per billion the navy blue is 1800 we're still seeing the light blue pop up around the coastlines some of the coastlines here in the Antarctic this is methane release <coughs> down here so have we bottomed out we'll see um, it'll be interesting to see what the report says next week since last year started going up this week Now here's 500 HPA. So here we're seeing some blues come up in the midst of the greens. We're seeing uh, it's not solid red all the way across the Arctic here. It's kind of spreading out. And um, more greens where it used to be orange and red. And um, more blues where it used to be green. So we can see the overall decrease in the methane readings here but remember it's still almost 20 points <coughs> higher than it was this time last year 18 something here's total column still see here's the highest here over China India and then over this um, Bengal Bay in Arabian Sea here we're seeing more greens across this northern hemisphere this is also showing uh, lower methane readings rather than a lot of yellows up there Okay, now I just want to show a couple of more things and finish up. I'm going to make this a quick show tonight. This is 2 meter temperature anomaly for today from Climate Reanalyzer. We can see that the red is really coming back across all of the Arctic. Now this had gone down and we had actually gotten um, at a what was it a six a point six C lower than normal up here and then the temperature started going back up and now we're um, we're in this not just the red but going on up into the light red pinky color um, this bright red is 20 C higher than normal this uh, kind of dark reddish pink is 25 C and this light pink is 30 C higher than normal so we're moving into like the 25 C higher than normal range here right over the North Pole see this stretches all the way from Greenland over to Siberia and it's also red um, over here on northeast Canada and then brown there so here's the flat view and look how it's purple here in Russia that's a lot colder than normal so we've got the Arctic is back up 2.5 C higher than normal and the northern hemisphere and the Antarctic are both up 0.6 C worldwide we're only up 0.2 C higher than normal now we'll show you here 
sea ice and snow cover for today and um, we can see the Bering Straits filled back in it's pretty solid all the way across um, it's still not refreezing on this west side of Svalbard I don't know why um, it's refreezing here in the Kara Sea and made a little bridge over to Novaya Zemlya the Baron I mean this is the what is this yeah the Barren Sea is um, still ice free pretty much here now, I want to show you the jet stream this is this is what's causing the weather chaos the jet stream is falling apart so here's our jet stream and sea surface temperature anomaly they've updated this to Friday we still got browns up here um, next to the sea ice and we've got still got the red and up into the light pink here is 6 C higher than normal up here in the North Atlantic now when we look at the flat view we're getting the red blob again down here in the South Pacific we've got another blob starting up in the South Atlantic and uh, still red up here around Japan so those areas are kind of problem areas all the time we're seeing a lot of brown around Australia and in the Southwest Pacific as well so northern hemisphere north atlantic and north pacific are all up 0.5 c higher than normal so there's that now i just wanted to show i've been tracking this a68 iceberg the breakup of it it broke up this week it started breaking up oh look at this weird cloud see when you see an opening like that that's just and see all these crosshatch this is definitely manipulated that's not normal Let's see whatever however these clouds are forming whether it's um, from a computer simulation or what it's not normal um, here's so let's let's zoom zoom out a little bit this is today and um, here's here's the pieces it's underneath that weird looking cloud there this is the largest piece left so let's go back <coughs> to last week here we were on the 20th when when I reported last week the back end had broken off that little piece it had taken a hard right they would beamed the crap out of this I'm sure to steer it they were probably uh, shooting it with laser weapons from outer space too to make it break up I I don't know I can't prove it that's just my hunch um, but here's what it looked like on the 20th here's the 21st it's still in one piece and it's moving out 
Here's the 22nd. This is where it started breaking off this front end or the finger, what was left of this front end. You can see it was starting to crack down and all the way across here. That was on the 21st. Here's the 22nd and you can see the front end is starting to move off and this other piece here is starting to break off. Here's the 24th. You can barely see it but you can see the um, the finger has broken free and is now moving on its own. And here's the 25th. We can see all those weird lines. Um, anyway, here's the front end. The f finger that's broken off and pieces are broken off. Here's this other piece that's broken off. Here's yesterday. Here it's been moving around. And here it is today. And now it's turning. You see it took a look how it, how much it turned in one day so it's they're trying to break this up I'm sure so it doesn't run into these um, these islands over here it's getting pretty close to the islands the um, let's see where are they they're over here and these are so weird and see the the weird formations in the clouds around these islands these are the South Sandwich Islands that show up as the little dots so they're probably trying to break this up and steer it so that it doesn't backtrack up to South Georgia or it doesn't swing out to um, the South Georgia Islands. Here they are. You can see them here. See the dots? These are the islands in the South Pacific there. Oops. So that's where we're at with that. And that's such a weird you don't that's that's just not normal none of that nothing about that cloud is normal you don't see straight lines in nature you just don't and you don't see cross hatching in nature we also are having um, now this is cloud cover today but let's go back this is a pretty good view. This is Pine Island Glacier. You can see the melting here. This is where it had calved off last year. And here's the ice where it refroze. And so that's melting and getting ready to separate out. Here's melting too. And this will probably calve off more. It's been calving off every year more and more. This is the Thwaites Glacier, Doomsday Glacier. This is what was left of the ice tongue that had broken off and um, it's breaking up. It, this is where it broke off and um, so as as it continues to warm up down here that will that'll break off. I mean these these pieces will start moving apart and melting and then we'll see more calving up here more than likely. You can see the texture of the ice. There are no clouds here. These little ridges and stuff that's the ice. It's rough. <clears throat> it's not just smooth. But um, we'll be monitoring this to see what happens. And then down here, 
Oh, you can see the high melt that's been going on in the raw sea. <coughs> this raw sea is ice free now. This is the raw ice shelf. Here are pieces of ice here. Here it is today. And then here it is here's the Amory ice sheet that's kind of cloud covered there. Here's a better view from the twenty fifth. And here's where the sea ice had been up to the edge. So that's broken out. So that'll be melting as well. And this is the brunt ice sheet over here that's cloud covered. This is a pretty good view. We've got clouds covering it, but it's still intact. I haven't seen anything calving off there. But there's methane coming up there. And also here along the Larson, the Larsons, and um, this different wherever, wherever you see ice free around the coastline, you can just imagine that there's methane coming up. The ozone hole is closing up. I'll show you that real quick. <coughs> go to Sunday. Now it's still thin. See we've got a, a thin part up here in the North Atlantic. Look at all of this from China. Um, this is what's left of the ozone hole from the Antarctic. We can see it's morphed up and it's quite small and so it's down to this light um, purplish blue which is 200 to 220 Dobson units. Still that part's in the danger zone. Um, now let's let's go to the Antarctic view. Here it is. Now remember it had been over the mainland for so long and now it's slid out. This is getting thinner and um, but it's still thin. It's still not not a healthy reading when you have the greens and the aquas. It's still quite thin but it's not not as thin as it was at least. So there's that. We've had a lot of sulfur dioxide this week. We've had volcanoes. We had Kilauea explode. Um, lots of stuff going on. But um, I've been reporting on that on my Subscribe Star channel. So I encourage you to check that out. So I'm going to go ahead and finish up. continuing reading out of the Bible. We're still in Psalms chapter 119. There were 22 separate stanzas written, one for each Hebrew letter of the alphabet. Tonight we're reading Kuf. I cried with my whole heart, Hear me, O Lord. I will keep thy statutes. I cried unto thee, Save me, and I shall keep thy testimonies. I prevented the dawning of the morning, and cried. I hoped in thy word. Mine eyes prevent the night watches, that I might meditate in thy word. 
Hear my voice according unto thy loving kindness, O Lord, quicken me according to thy judgment. They draw nigh that follow after mischief, they are far from thy law. Thou art near, O Lord, and all thy commandments are truth. Concerning thy testimonies, I have known of old that thou hast founded them forever. So I'd like to encourage you to think on these things and to think about how you want to spend your last few days and weeks and hours. Do you want to spend them angry and upset or do you want to spend them meditating on God's word and asking for forgiveness and repenting of your sins and you know getting things in order getting ready to leave this planet getting ready for the spiritual realm and um, you know I encourage you it's time is short time is very short and um, it's it's getting shorter day by day it's getting harder day by day too we're gonna need to be strong and we need the compass, the spiritual compass of God and Jesus and the Holy Spirit of discernment and the protection of the holy warrior angels as we move through these, these dark waters and maneuver through them. And without these tools and these beings to help us and to protect us and guide us, we can easily be deceived so I'm praying for all of you praying for all of you so I love you all and until next time God bless you go in peace and we'll talk to you soon good night